All right, guys, so in this video, we're gonna be reviewing my 2700 game. So this is the game where I'm over 2700 MMR, and this is the game that gets me to like 2680 something, like super, super close, 2681, I believe it was. So let's go ahead and watch how this goes. Let's fast forward a little. So we start off, why can't I fast forward at all? We start off behind the pillar. They have feral moonkins, so we're just kind of get trying to get them to come out. And I'm trying to let my rogue sap, and he gets the sap off. So I start off with just getting some damage on this feral druid over here. My rogue's like lining the healer right now. I'm not sure what he's doing exactly. The feral I think saw that and wanted to either go swap onto the rogue or to get away from me. And I think he was going on the rogue because he sees. Yeah, he's on the rogue. My rogue's getting slammed because he was just away from all of us. Um, I'm still trying to go on the feral. Um, I start getting some damage out on the moonkin now that I'm in range of him. I drop some groundings here because his bur moonkin burst is insane right now. It's absolutely insane. I wall because I'm taking a lot of damage and they're focusing me more. Using my storm keepers, just getting out some damage. I see my rogues going for some damage on the paladin while he's in. I'm just trying to cleave them down. I'm my my rogue gets a smoke bomb, which is really good. Um, but they get out of it like instantly, and so didn't really give us that much value. Still trying to just pump this moonkin. Um, they're on me. I'm trying to get away from this fucking paladin because I don't know if he's trying to hodge me or what, but. I shear the druid, just still trying to kill the moonkin. Moonkin is like the the goal target here. Um, the the paladin's used like all of his cooldowns, as you can see here. He's he's got like nothing left, and so we really should be on the paladin. I feel like at this point, but I don't know. My rogue doesn't really have a lot of cooldowns, and this moonkin's kind of out in the open as well. So like either one, I guess is. A decent target here but the moonkin's really not even used anything he's still got all of his defensive so we really should in theory probably swatch swap to the paladin but the the feral's kind of lining his healer so the rogue i think was just trying to punish him for a bit um still on the moonkin just pumping him with damage get, trying to get this feral off me pumping him full of damage I get my Stormkeeper out. I just start hitting something that's close. I swap back to the Feral because he's got no cooldowns. And he dies right there. So we kind of just played it off who was using cooldowns and who wasn't. And who was having all the defensives on. All right, so same principle. Just kind of go out. They have the Rogue now, so we want to try to get into combat as soon as possible. And... I'm trying to get some flame shock on this paladin, but I don't know what my team's doing. They're not following me or understanding that we need to get in combat. Um, so the rogue just opens on me because that's what happens. I can't do anything else. He's trying to get a cyclone. I'm watching him. He gets bashed. Uh, I think I kick his next clone here. Or he just starts going off with some damage. I burst on the rogue. Get him really fucking low, but he's got tons of, uh, he's got sack on him right now. So theoretically I shouldn't really be bursting into him, but I mean, rogue is just, rogue's a very good kill target and this druid is just trying to cyclone. So he's not really doing anything anyways. Kick the clone. Um, just keep pumping the rogue, I guess. He's got battle masters on and shit, and so now his health drops a lot. Um, kidneyed into smoke bomb. This is very bad for me. He rops. He rops the smoke bomb, and the rogue doesn't move. Why? Um. Oh, it's because I just thunderstormed him. <laughs> Hmm, that's something I'm going to have to start looking out for. Holy shit. Because Rop DR'd with my Thunderstorm. 
I've never really had to worry about that before. That's interesting. Maybe I should only use Thunderstorm with a monk when I have to. Or when his ROP is on cooldown. Okay, my healer's blinded. I'm trying to get over to my, my healer because I saw that and I don't want to die. So I'm trying to avoid as much damage as possible. Uh, I'm just getting slammed here. I can't get away from any damage. I got death mark on me. The moonkin's bursting me. And I tried to do everything I could. And I ended up living. My monk was cocooned me and shit. So that was pretty good. I kicked clone again. He's trying to get a lot of clones out. He can't. I'm just trying to sauce people up right now. And I can't because fucking paladins, man. I, I thunderstormed the clone. I'm kidneyed into poison bomb. Bad for me. Okay, I got big damage here. And I just I pop this paladin. He divine shields. Good for us. I continue killing the rogue. I accidentally fucking I don't know what I did there. Um where is my druid's almost dead. My healer had to run out because I gust of winded over there. Why did I do that? Hold on. I think I didn't see the healer. Oh, because he ported. <laughs> so that was just really, really, really bad timing. He ported as soon as I used my gust of wind. So nothing we could really do there. He he runs in to heal us, and he ends up getting CC'd because of it. Pretty bad. I Did I kick him there? What did I kick? Did I kick him? It looked like I kicked him. Oh, I don't think I kicked, I think I just missed the clone, but he started casting something after, and I got that. And I just, I just barely missed the heal. Like, watch how close this heal was. He's hodged. Um, I kick him, and I realize that he's still dying because my healer ended up getting cloned. I thought I, I think I thought I kicked the clone, and I realized I didn't. And so I had to heal him, and I start healing right here. And look how close that heal was to finishing. Oh, my God. I, I don't know if that would have been the decider, but, I mean, like 1.9 seconds, that might have just been enough. So we could have maybe won this game. All right, this game, uh, pretty much doing the same thing. Just we want to get in combat as soon as possible. I'm trying to pull my team forward with me. I get into combat. My healer's just sitting there. He's healing me to get into combat. Okay, he, he got combat off me, and my druid, I think, was in combat. Or stealth, so. Big damage here. We're just killing whatever we can. My paladin's in smoke bomb. Very bad. And he's got bubble on. I'm bursting the rogue now with my stormkeeper. He almost dies. I try to pull him out of stealth. I don't get it. Oh, he was almost dead, and then he cloaks. Very bad. Uh, but we've gotten a lot of their cooldowns so far. Um, the monk is cycloned. This rogue is cocooned. I swap back to the monk. I trinket the kidney, which was probably dumb. I probably shouldn't have trinketed that. Uh... I kicked the Soothing Mist. I think I missed it, though. I lasso him because my druid doesn't ha that druid doesn't have kick. Um, I'm taking a lot of damage here. A lot of damage. Healer is CC'd. I use my Static Field Totem. He's blinded now, still CC'd. I'm trying to do whatever I can to survive. I Thunderstorm. He's bashed. And I'm just getting annihilated. But big damage here on the druid. He's root beamed. I try to hex him. I don't get it in time. This rogue's just chilling back here. I root him because he's trying to re-stealth. We have so much pressure on them right now. And he dies. Nice. Now, they have the rogue again. So again, the rogue's not on my team, so we need to try to get into combat. I'm pushing forward. I get sapped very fast. I don't get 
to get in combat. I run back because my healer's sapped. I stun the rogue. He cyclones the other DPS. I'm saving Trinket. I don't kick anything, which is good because he had protection. Uh, the healer um, diffuse magic. I get root beamed, which is bad for them. They do not want to root beam me. I wall here. Healer CC'd. I drop static field to get him off me for a little bit. I, uh, he gets bashed on the clone. Um, skull bash. I get stunned. I trinket because it's smoke bomb. I run out. I'm trying to get away from my healer, but my healer is stacked on me. He gets bashed anyways, and we ended up winning. So, theoretically, my healer, when I ran out that direction towards him, he, he needs to, like, kind of move away. That way, he doesn't get cross CC'd like that. Like, he should have he ran, like, maybe back here behind the pillar. But that's all right. We ended up winning anyways, and it was already on DR. Not a big deal. So, now the rogue is on my team. He needs to immediately run in and sap. Because even... Well... He did okay. So since they have a Moonkin Feral, they're both stealth. He doesn't really need to immediately run in and sap, but he should be at least within the vicinity of his, of the healer. So that way, when they open, he can immediately sap or blind kidney shot whatever that he needs to do. And so they open on me, and we have no setup ready. So I'm just getting DPS on. Um, I'm just pumping this Feral super fast. I hex the the monk here, and we just smoke bomb annihilate the druid. <laughs> we just annihilated the druid. All right, the rogues on their team, so we need to go in and get combat. I get combat, but he doesn't get combat off me in time i get stunned immediately from the rogue feral um they're all running in i'm stressing out because my healer's blinded i'm in my wall and the paladin is like dispelling my flame shocks so like i can't do damage i can't i don't have any healing or defensives okay i get cocooned He he stormkeepered I think my earth shock there. Maybe. I don't know. We're just DPSing down the paladin. He bubbles immediately, so we're doing pretty good. I'm slowed to fucking hell. I'm trying to get some room around my teammates, but they keep like running to me when I'm trying to run away. I get stunned in the smoke bomb, I trinket. I get out. I'm trying to get around this pillar, but my monk is over there. So I decided to just stay out in the open. I'm trying to get them off of my monk. I'm sw I'm staying on the rogue, chunking him. He's got a uh, solar beam. I get the rogue a little bit behind the pillar. I knock the druid. He's He used rot, but he's already DR'd off thunderstorm. I try to hex the paladin, but he kicks me. Trying to pump the rogue now. Uh-oh, poison bomb. I'm dead. Really, really bad. I need to replay this because it's so fast. So, like... Oh, look, there's death mark. <laughs> what do I do? My static field totem's on cooldown, and my wall's on cooldown. Like... Those are those are maybe the only two things that could save me. And they're on cooldown. So like I I just can't even do anything. My one wall is on cooldown. Oh, it looks like I die because my healer CC'd. Like my, my healer's right there. Um I, I try to just run towards my DPS to see if he could heal me, but um I couldn't even jump, but if I did jump, I probably should have I don't know. Should I have jumped away since the since the CC would have been over anyways, or should I jump towards him? I don't know. But either way, 
the monk only won one game. So the the holy paladin won five. So that makes sense. So me me and the rogue went four and two. Um yeah, but this was my 2700 game, so you can see my MMR going in was 2701, and then I ended at 2681. And I think my MMR after this was like 2735 or something. I, I can't remember exactly, but... So that's my 2700 game. Let me know what you guys think.